Greetings and salutations, my fellow gamers. My name is Afar Cryway. Today we have a video on how to use the Killing Floor 2 Steam Workshop and get custom weapon skins and camo kind of stuff like that. So today I'm going to walk you guys through how to get these Constitution 1858s because they look freaking awesome. You can also do this for really anything that's in the workshop, like skin-wise. And here is a collection by user i can't even say that that's a big username but yeah i'll try to remember to put a link to this in the description for you guys but basically there's about six skins in here you can get you can get that constitution 1858 the heat trench gun the putrid bile m79 the shark teeth double barreled the skull cracker pulverizer and the stories of war rpg7 so just to start off you'll be here at the killing floor 2 page and i've actually had some people ask me how you even get to the workshop so you click on your killing floor 2 and make sure you're in the mode where you see your games listed out on the side as well as the details here. I believe you can change this. Um, I think it's yeah up here. You go to Games Details in View. And then you'll see Killing Floor 2. You'll scroll down here and you'll see the Steam Workshop and some of the top rated Steam Workshop mods. Now with Steam Workshop maps for Killing Floor 2, they will install instantly. You basically just need to subscribe and then you will see them in your single player list to play as well as you'll be able to instantly hop onto any server with this map and it's updated and play it. Alright, so you'll click that and then you'll be in here in the actual workshop for Killing Floor 2 and you will want to find whatever weapon skin that you want to do. And the thing about weapon skins in Killing Floor 2's workshop is that they should integrate, but they don't currently very well. You have to do a few steps to get them to actually work. Alright, so we have found the mod that we want, which is the 1858. I'm going to click on that. And then you will subscribe to the mod on here. Now, in any other circumstance, that would be it. You'd be done, everything would work fine. But uh, unfortunately, I guess just for the moment, Tripwire hasn't fixed the issue with it to where it won't just auto-install. So maybe in the future it will. Alright, so you'll want to go into Killing Floor 2 and actually open the game. And this is so that I think the .upk files actually are properly integrated into your game. Alright, so I'll see you guys in one second. Alright, so we are here in the game. So, as long as I believe as you start the game, you should be fine. If you want to be extra safe, maybe play one solo round. Also, before we go back and quit out of the game, I wanted to let you guys know, in your inventory, you need to make sure whatever gun that you want to mess with, you don't have a camo equipped it already. So that's a big one. If you forget this step, you could have some problems. Alright, so we're going to exit out of the game. So here we are outside of Killing Floor 2. Alright, so we're out of the game, and this guy has a slightly different way to install it than I thought it was here in these uh, in the description for this 1858. So I'm actually going to walk you guys through how I do it, because I've actually made it work, and I know it works. Whereas this is a little bit interesting, because you have to actually make some folders if they don't already exist for you. And I don't really want to go through all that. So this way I find it to be a little bit easier personally. So, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to find, I believe, all right, yeah, we're going to want to find not the Killing Floor 2 that's under our Steam Apps Common. We want to find the Killing Floor 2 that's in, all right, this PC documents my game's Killing Floor 2. From here, we will want to go to the Killing Floor 2 game, or sorry, KF game folder. We're going to want to go to, I believe it is Cache. And here is where it gets interesting. So there's going to be a bunch of folders and numbers, and it's going to look all confusing. What you're going to want to do is find the first folder that appears. It's going to be the most recently modified folder. So essentially, you want to make sure it's today's date and the same time as when you opened the game last. This is it right here. We'll double click this, and you'll see this O folder. And if you click into it, you'll see Published, Brood PC, Packages, Weapons, Remington 1858, and then two dot upk extension folders one is going to be for the first person texture of the weapon and then the next one i believe is the third person texture so that way if you see other people who do not have a camouflage equipped to their weapon already online you'll see what you have so what you're going to want to do is copy both of these dot upk extensions 
And then we're going to go back to our Killing Floor 2 that is under the Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Killing Floor 2. Now, an easier way to get to that, by the way, if you are having a difficult time, is by right-clicking Killing Floor 2, hitting Properties, go into Local Files, and then Browse the Local Files. So you'll be here with me along, you know, in the Steam Apps, Common, Killing Floor 2 folder. This is different from the one before that was in the, you know, uh, Documents, My Games. So... We're back here in the common Steam Apps one. We're going to go to KF Game, Brood PC. And then here we will see a folder called Packages. And this is essentially where you want to be. Um, you're going to see a bunch of stuff here that's essentially every part of the game. We're going to want to find Weapons. All right, so we're here in Weapons. And what you're going to want to do is not do it under Dual Remingtons because this isn't the Dual Remingtons texture. We're going to want to go see here to the Remington 1858 and then we're going to want to right click and then paste it into here now it's going to ask you since you know you'll have files with those extensions and names already if you want to replace them and you do and all right so now we have the first person and the third person Remington 1858 all right so now we should be good to launch the game and then we will see that in game so let's test it out all right, so we're just going to launch a solo game on Biotics Lab here. All right, so we are here on Biotics Lab. I want to make sure we play as our gunslinger, of course, because then we will have access to the 1858s right off the bat. Now, the game's going to run a bit shit because I didn't do a few of these optimization tweaks that I have to do because I'm on Windows 10, but don't let the frame rate appall you too much. We're just here to test some things. And here we are. And look, it worked. Hell yes. So those are the two Remingtons that we actually just modded in. I do not own this skin, so this is awesome. Very, very easy. Only took me like not even two minutes to do this. I think the most annoying part really is just the uh, having to start the game, you know, turn it on and off. I can't hit anything today, I'm sorry. Here we go. <laughs> but yeah. Very, very cool. And this is how I also got the uh, the Black Lagoon 9mm pistol here. I really like this as well because I was a huge Black Lagoon fan. So, very happy about this. But yeah, these are the Remingtons. Essentially, with any other weapon mods that you want to do this to, like let's say you want to mod your AR-15 here, you essentially do the exact same steps. You uh, will copy the UPK folders from the most recent modified folder. Sorry, not UPK folders, the UPK extension files. And then you will bring them to your Killing Floor 2 under your Steam apps, and you will go to Packages, and then Weapons, and then modify it to whatever weapon that you want. Essentially, it would be the AR-15 file. You would go in there and then paste them in and replace, and then you're good to go. Just make sure you don't have any skins pre-equipped, and you're, you're going to be set. Very, very easy to do. It just takes a few seconds. Not seconds, it just takes like maybe like two minutes, three minutes. And uh, I would say it's very worth it. I hope they put more of these skins on the workshop, but right now it's a little sparse. But the ones that are on there are really nice. I really like them. And um, I strongly advise and encourage you to do this yourself. It is not going to corrupt stuff. If you have any sort of interesting problems that do arise, like any sort of you know file corruption, all you'll need to do is go into your Steam, right click Killing Floor 2, and then verify your game cache and that should fix any issues you have and replace any folders missing and whatnot so yeah that's pretty much it on this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if it was helpful leave it a like if it wasn't helpful dislike it and hopefully they'll implement actual like workshop support for these weapons soon and make it where you don't have to do this but for now that's how you have to do it i mean even fallout 4 when it came out you had to do some really interesting stuff to get the mods to actually function the way they were supposed to. Um, and apparently also the textures don't look as good right now with the modified weapons because it doesn't have proper support and not like 100% good. Like there's no real like modding tools apparently. So if you notice that these weapon skins seem a little bit lower res than the actual camos you can equip, that's why. They, they're a little bit less, I guess texture I don't even know the words for it I'm not a modder but you know what I mean they won't look as good but that's okay because you at least have these equipped and you can see them yourself and it's pretty cool so 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out.